do I just get rid of These are two, four of the jacking saunders. There's four per corner. Each one has a grand total of a six feet, six foot uh, lifting capability. If they were all the way down to the max height is six feet. Okay. These are original also. Now we got one just had built, cost nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars to have it built. And we've got it sitting over there and we're gonna be changing out one of these probably during the winter season. Oh right. Is that because uh these are starting to wear or something? Well, I've got some that's uh, leaking pretty good. You asked about steering earlier. Yep. All right, we have, that's one of the steering cylinders. It's four per corner. Uh-huh. And it takes brute force to turn it. That's the reason we have rock. Right. We can slide on rock. Okay, yeah. You can't slide on asphalt. So you just tear the thing up No, now. we just roll the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's certainly solid oil. So the the, uh, the original contract is probably in your in your flyer, but, uh, but uh, the, the it was actually built by a, a steam shovel company. Yeah, Marion uh, shovel shovel company. Uh, Marion This is one radiator here for an Alco. For one of the Alco for okay. the Alco unit. It's one of 5,000, we've got two tanks, each one holding 2,500 gallons each. Mm -hmm. they, it gives us about three trips to the pad. We get about 62 feet to the gallon. Right. Broke the well loose. Oh, okay. It's turned. That pin is uh, means that pin is turned in it, and that means it's uh, we got to keep a close eye on it. Right. And that's the, the like the bellows then. Well, that, no, that's the, actually the guide tube. That's the cover for the guide tube. That's what keeps. Okay. This, that's the center point. One of these days, I'm gonna actually get out here and actually do it. Bye. Nice camera. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and look right here. You see that corner over there? You see those four pieces sticking up? Yeah. That's one of the points that we actually make contact with the MLP. Okay. That's directly under that is the guide tube. Right. Okay. So that's uh, that's you know the stiffest point, and which you're surrounded by four jacking cylinders. You have another one right here. The and if we got the orbiter on board and everything, then we're picking up close to 12 million pounds. Not including the weight of the trawler. So these these uh, pistons here locked into a... Uh, actually, it's a square piece on the bottom of the MLP that's about the same thickness as that piece is. Right. And that's what we have to nail on to. That's just to stop it from moving while we're going out the crawler. To get it on the guide point, okay. Yep. So it's actually accurately aligned with the, yeah, other with the other side over there. Right. That's basically uh, up here about the total aspect of it. Uh, any other questions or anything you want to see? Um, the the mufflers underneath. I've, yeah, we're I've going up to there. Okay. Right while we were up here. Uh, you're walking on this deck right here, like this stuff here we're standing on. Uh huh. That's original to the crawler. Right. There's no telling how many thousands of people have walked on that very piece. Astronauts and everything. Else. Yeah. Right now, we started when I first came here. I had a crew of uh, about 18. That included everybody. 
and I was having to borrow people in order to move this thing with a live loading, you know, a live move. Uh, today I've got a crew of 36. I can move two cars at one time. Plus, I've got uh, 10 engineers it takes to operate. Wow. So we're training people to where we could move to at one time, and we finally got up enough during people I could keep up with the maintenance and try to keep track of it. Now the crew that's here, the gentleman going up the stairs over here, he's been here for 30 years. He's uh, one of our heavy equipment mechanics. Right. Uh, he was here when they were being built. Larry Tempest, our lead uh, heavy equipment mechanic, he's been here for 30 years. Okay. He remembers it being built. I got another one that's got 33 years here. He's on vacation right now. So these guys are going to be retiring over the next two or three years. And the crew I brought just hired. I hired 24 people. And the crew I hired are the uh, are going to have the to next take the next generation. Yeah. Next generation. Yeah. They got to carry this thing on. I was asked by NASA several times, can you keep these things running for the next 20 years? If you will give me the money, I will keep them running. Sure. sure. So they just had a big crew down from Washington looking them over, you know, and won't know what we need to do. Really, we need to get all these damn jail pumps out. They need to go out and be rebuilt. They've never been done. Uh, and like any electric motor that sits around any period of time, insulation starts cracking on it. And I'm sure inside of the motor, that insulation's coming loose. It's just a matter of time that we don't have, a, mm -hmm. have an event. I don't know. We don't need it. Okay. And we ran for 35 years without any type of uh, cooling system for that tank of oil. Is that right? All of a sudden, one day, somebody made a brand new decision that we were actually running the oil at its peak temperature. So they put this cooler on. 35 years later. <laughs> this is an Alco muffler here. This one here, you don't run down a minus to take it. Uh, no. <laughs> This is the same thing I made a comment on one of the uh, uh, TLC I told you about. I walked around here, I said, you'll buy one of these things at minus for six. $29.95 and have it installed. They are custom built. There's the other two, uh, two more of the steering cylinders down here. Oh, okay. Here. So you got the inner one and the, and the front ones. Right. And they look, it's like I said, it's brute force. Now they had a deal one time where, I believe it was one of these cylinders right on this end here on that truck, was uh, uh, the sensor lost its sensor, which you see these are right here. Oh yeah. And when it was supposed to stop, it didn't. So it just went, yeah, and doubled. Oh, is that right? Ooh, the hell out of time. Something for you. Oh, okay, thank you. That was the 40th anniversary of space flight. Oh, good. Nice compilation of all the pictures. And yeah, all right, good. Come on over there and see some of the stuff you're involved in. Yeah, good. Thank you, sir. Oh, and I read your uh, thing. It was very good. See any changes or anything? I need no, to do not it. No, no. I just run it by the writers. And okay. Really and that was good. Yeah, very good. Uh, a lot okay. more. It has a lot more. Doubt on it. And we got to take the old one, send it off, or over to our LES shop and have one made. Okay. Because there are no more drawings on it. Mm. Nobody has them. Oh, is that right? The drawings we have is not technical enough. Go in and put the bolt holes in exactly where they dollars for it. Now they want fifteen thousand. If we'll send this buffer to them so they can duplicate. Oh, right? Hey, go to minus lifetime guarantee. Yeah, that's what I told you. You can't get that out of it for this one here. Minus won't sell it to us for twenty nine ninety five. We get small people is that's where they go in and check the valves on the engine. We send them up through there. Yeah, but you know that would even be a, a thing. If they if you paid the, the fifteen thousand, if they were guaranteed to, to replace it, then that would be. A, well, you got to take most of these uh, advertising along the world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing is that a lot of things people can they do for us. They will bring in crews and make pictures and everything else. It's fine, you can do that. But you cannot use the NASA name or the NASA logo and that you did this for NASA. Yeah. Okay. You know, Is that right? We had uh, 150 of them I had to get rid of because of faulty seal. And the average weight was 2,400 pounds. And they are hollow. Are they hollow? Yeah. All oh, right. You actually can see through them. You had to get rid of them. Yeah, they were, uh, these metal was this period was cracking on us. Oh, okay. Breaking up, so we got rid of them. So, uh, they uh, cut them up with scrap steel. And they'd been used. You look right through there, you can see all the way through. You get right. Oh, okay. All right, I didn't know that. And each one weighs an average weight of about 2,400 pounds. Each pin that holds them together weighs 90 pounds. Nurse said you have to be somewhere at 10 or just leave at 10. Okay. And that was that shooter up uh, as the weight change boat on it. 
like any other. And finally, uh, on the bottom side, there's a line clear across it. Now, we all love the idea of how the newspaper media reported it. And NASA engineers made the decision to roll it back down the hill. Well, unfortunately, we didn't even have a NASA engineer. Well, we had one on board, but it was not his decision. Yeah. The decision was made by Mr. Peck, our GBCT. An engineer sounds better than a, than a lead or a no, supervisor. No, 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 no. I'm in the Air Force. What is this right in that Air Force? Titan's uh, Air Force and then the Trident subs. So we, get, we get credit for everything. <laughs> this little uh, wheel vehicle you see sitting there, 